हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सी सेट मंत्रा सी सेट मेड इजी एंड अफोर्डेबल वेलकम टू आवर डेली डोस ऑफ सॉल्व क्वेश्चंस फॉर मोर सॉल्व क्वेश्चंस एंड कांसेप्ट्स काइंडली जॉइन आवर टेलीग्राम चैनल टू एनरोल इन आवर कोर्स काइंडली विजिट सी सेट मंत्रा डॉट कॉम बोथ द लिंक्स आर गिवन बिलो इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन कंसीडर टू स्टेटमेंट्स एस वन एंड एस टू फॉलोड बाय ए क्वेश्चन एस वन पी एंड क्यू बोथ आर प्राइम नंबर्स एस टू पी प्लस क्यू इज एन ऑड इंटीजर क्वेश्चन is pq an odd integer which of the following is correct this is a statement question purely mathematical in nature from number system chapter asked in 2019 from number system every year 4 to 5 questions are asked my friends very important chapter now kindly pay attention here two statements s1 and s2 there is no relationship between them whatsoever nowhere in the question mentioned that these two statements are related these are two independent statements there is no relationship between them now what we'll do is we take the statement 1 and see if we can answer this question this is option a my friends okay s1 alone is sufficient to answer the question so we are taking statement 1 and see if we can answer this question or not similarly we'll take the statement 2 and see if we can answer this question or not thereafter we'll take both s1 and s2 and see if we can answer this question or not this is what given in options my friends okay s1 and question s2 and question both s1 and s2 and question okay s1 and s2 and question so ab chronology samjhiye first i will take s1 and see if i can answer this question or not and mind it for this question you need to have a certain answer like is pq an odd integer so your answer should be either yes or no okay only one answer my friends either you say yes or no but not both your answer has to be certain exact now i am taking p and q as 2 and 3 my friends okay both are prime numbers now in this case p into q 2 into 3 that is 6 it is even Now, if I take p and q as three and five, okay. So in this case, p into q is three into five, that is a fifteen. This is odd. So when p and q both are prime numbers, you are not having an exact answer for this question, my friends. For some cases, it is even. For some cases, it is odd. See what I mean by statement one is for any two prime numbers, p and q. I should have an exact answer for this question, either yes or no, but not both. For two and three, the answer is no because we are getting p and q as even. For three and five, the answer is yes because we are getting p and q as odd. So for any two prime numbers, we are not having an exact answer for this question, my friends. So statement one alone is not sufficient to answer this question. Okay, so option A is incorrect. C two is the only prime number which is even, my friends. If two is not there, then we can certainly say p into q is odd. Except two, all our prime numbers are odd numbers, my friends. So odd into odd, that would be odd integer. Now since we have two, we can be having combination of even into odd, odd into odd. In this case, the answer is not certain, my friends. Since we have two. I hope this is clear. Now let's take the statement two and see if we can answer this question or not. Statement two: p plus q is an odd integer. Now remember here, this statement and this statement, there is no relationship between them whatsoever. This is totally independent and this is totally independent. Okay? So p and q are not prime numbers here, my friends. Clear, right? Now we know. Even number plus even number is even number, my friends. Okay, even number you can write in the form of two x. Okay, two y. Now their addition. Okay, two x plus two y. This is two of x plus y. See, this is in the form of two z. Okay, so even number plus even number is even number. And we also know odd number plus odd number is even number, my friends. Just take two odd numbers, one plus three, that is four. Okay. Otherwise, you can take one plus one is equal to my friends. Here, p and q can be same. 
See, until and unless they mention P and Q are different numbers, you are free to take them as same, my friends. Okay, P is equal to Q because it is not explicitly mentioned. If they have mentioned P and Q are different numbers, in that case, you cannot take P is equal to Q, my friends. Since they have not explicitly mentioned, you are free to take. So, even plus even is even, R plus R is even. So, P and Q both cannot be even my friends and both cannot be odd because we are getting here even numbers whereas we want odd number, odd integer. So, among P and Q, one of them should be even and one of them should be odd my friends. Then only we will be getting their sum as odd. See, 2 plus 3 that is equal 5, even plus odd, odd. Otherwise, 2 plus 1 even plus odd that is equal 3 which is odd. So you add any even number and any odd number my friends you will be always getting odd number. We have seen this in number system chapter. I request you to kindly go through it. Very important my friends questions can be asked on that. Now let's see if we can have a certain answer for this question or not. Certain answer, single answer, only one answer. See even into odd otherwise odd into even both are same my friends this will be always even so the question is is p q an odd integer our answer would be no my friends because we are getting the answer as even so if i ask this question you would be saying p q is not an odd integer p q is an even integer and that's the single answer you have for this question is there any other answers possible no my friends okay now see statement 2 alone is sufficient to answer this question. So our answer is B. Very easy question my friends. The first thing to note in statement questions is that these two statements are independent my friends. There is no relationship between them. Thereafter just proceed with the options my friends. Is S1 alone or S2 alone sufficient to answer the question? Are both taken together not sufficient or necessary to answer the question? And uh, all these concepts we have taught in number system chapter my friends. I request you to kindly go through it. Thank you.